Hello. Welcome to Rad System Studio List Field Properties. My name is Tuzik. In today's episode of List Field Properties, we will learn how to make use of List Field Display Type. There are eight display types. By default, all field display type is set to plain text. Before we continue, let's take a look at the default field display type. To change the display type of a field, select the field of interest, click on the field display type, and then select the option of your choice. Let's change this to image display type. To do that, let's create a new field for this table since none of the fields has an image link. Click on the Manage Database Table button, select the table you want to create a new field in, now click on the Add Field button on top. Name the field, I'm going to name it Product underscore IMG. Once done, click the Save Change button below. Click Publish button, and the preview in the browser. As we can see a new table is added to the product table. Let's modify one of the records to add an image link to the new field created. Click the Upload button. Because our new field display type is set to plain text, we are seeing the image link. Let's change the display type from plain text to image. Back to Rad System Studio, select image field, click display type input field and then select an image. Observe the image property options below. With these properties, we can customize the image to our choice. To proceed, click publish button, then preview in the browser. To customize image size, click image tag size. From width and height field, we can change the width and height ratio of the image. Publish project and preview in the browser to see change. Our image size has changed. We can set multiple images on one field. To do that, first, let's add multiple image link on the field. Click on the add page, then click on the images field. I'm going to set max file size in MB to 300 and and the set max number of files to 5. Now we can add multiple images on the image field. Click on the file input area. Select image file to add. Now click the update button. That's right, we have added two image files to the field, but we are seeing only one image. This is because the image field max number of the image is set to 1. Let's change that. Click on the list page, select the image field, Click on the max image field, input the max number of her choice, I'm going to input 2. Publish and preview in the browser to see changes. Now we have two images showing in one list field. The next display type is star rating, to enable this display type, we need a field with a field type of integer, let's create one. Click on the Manage Database Table button, select the table you want to create a new field in, now click on the Add Field button on top. Name the field, I'm going to name it Product Rating. Now change the field type from Varchar to INT. Once done, click the Save Change button below. 
Over here, we can see the new field created, let's set the display type to star rating. We can see the star rating property below, with this, we can change the number of stars to be displayed on the field. Click publish button, and then preview in the browser. So cool, we can see the stars in the newly created field, let's modify one record. I will set the value of this field to 3. Click update. We have 3 stars ranked out of 5 stars. The next display type is a progress bar. I will use the product rating field since we have already set the filed type to INT. Click on the display type and select the progress bar option. We can see the progress bar property below, with this, we can change the maximum value of the progress bar. Click publish button, and then preview in the browser. Now we can see the progress bar. Let's modify one record, I will set the value of this field to 75. Click update. The next property of the list page field display type is the check button. For better understanding, let's create a new field for this property. Click on the manage database table button, select the table you want to create a new field in. Now click on the Add Field button on top. Let's name it Status. Once done, click Save Changes. Click in Status File Display Type, select the Check button. We can see the Check button property below. With this property, we can set the Check value. By default, it's set to True, I will leave it on default. Click Publish button, and then Preview in the browser. That's nice, we can see the check buttons in the newly created status field, let's modify one record. I will set the value of this field to true. Click Update. Now we have the record checked. The next property of the list page field display type is relative date, for better understanding, Let's create a new field for this property. Click on the Manage Database Table button, select the table you want to create a new field in, now click on the Add Field button on top. Name the field, I'm going to name it Date Time, once done, click the Save Change button below. Let's set the display type of the field to Relative Date. Click Publish button and in the preview in the browser. We can see the newly created date time field. Let's add a data record to this field. Now our field display type is on relative date. Let's take note before relative date takes effect, the field must have a date, time, or both records only. The next property of the list page field display type is custom. Click on the custom code field, click this small dots button. Since we have hundreds of display types, with this option, we can set our own customized display type, I'm going to mess around it a bit. Once done, publish and preview. We can equally hide a field. And that brings us to the last display type. To hide a field, click on the field display type, and select now. Let's see what changed. Now the field is hidden. Thanks for watching. For more tutorials like this subscribe to our channel, don't forget to turn on the notification bell icon to get notified when we post a new tutorial.